Hi guys, my name is Mife from RFN slash HFN here, and today we've got another Forge tutorial, and no, haters of the music, leave right now. This is an awesome semi-porn sounding music, according to various people, cough cough Nicotron. Um but yeah, this time we are teaching you guys how to build on Ridgeline Covenant Watchtowers, and these are some pretty simple designs. Um, complex to make but simple in terms of the pieces. So as you see right there you've got the two grav lifts inside, I'll explain those in just a second. You've got the Covenant barricades on the bottom and then you make ramps into them with these 1x2 inclined shallows. Really nice design, but then you take these gunner's nests, you will phase them into the ground and then you'll just put them in a triangle between them. Now originally those gunner's nests were supposed to be the ramps but you know, the ramps just look a little better on the bottom. Now, as you can see, 1x2s on the top, cover smalls underneath, seeing as this is ridgeline, we get different pieces. Some 1x1s in between the 2x1s, and then after that you can start making the surrounding of the actual tower. So that will mean you'll have to place down these railing mediums, and when you've done that, you're basically set. You can add whatever you want to the tower from here, so that includes things like turrets, includes things like, say, crates to hold weapons. There's a cool weapon holding technique which um, Flood came up with at some point. Yeah, I think one of us may do a tutorial on that in the future. Post a comment if you want to see that, but yeah. There's a reason for the two grav lifts, by the way, which is, if you see here, I enter the elevator and I'm only powered up by the first one, but you see, if you enter the elevator, that single grav lift is not enough to make sure that you can then get out and, you know, because, I mean, with most things, you won't be able to do that right there. Drop down into the hole and then just pop right out. You'll just hover there for a few seconds, which is not great. Floating health back on the line. La 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 la. But, yeah, there's another design over here for it, and pretty similar, but a bit more complex in terms of the fact that you have the Covenant barriers on the top as well. And this is an idea of round Covenant designs, which basically states you should use purple as much as possible. Note in this one that you can't walk up the barriers on the bottom unless you put the 1x2 ramps on them. So you have to use the gunner's nests as walking platforms in the first place, which still works, but you know. And yeah, it's pretty simple, it looks a little messier if I'm being honest, but yeah, it's still a good design. Especially seeing as this is Ridgeline. Anyway, these particular designs are by Cannibal423, check out his channel. And yeah, comment, rate, subscribe to HFN for more Forge tutorial stuff. If you're an indie forger out there, let us know. We will help you and get your channel promoted, etc. And yeah, see you guys later. My name is Bife, signing off here.